This is a series about a topic I'm very passionate about, design and innovation from all over Australia. Design is about problem solving and innovative thinking, whether it comes from large corporations or the little guys. In this series, we're looking for those special out of the box innovations. Welcome to Australia by Design Innovations. New York, New York, if you make it there, you can make it anywhere. And these Australian innovators have managed to take their technology from our shores and become an overnight success in the US. As a New Yorker, I had the distinct honor of actually seeing the building and getting a tour of the way in which the technology supports the building. Our cities and our architecture, they're the cultural fingerprints of the era. In this day and age, that increasingly means smart technology embedded in the bones of our buildings. And an Australian company is at the forefront. People think of these buildings as just bricks and mortar, but we've actually created an entire digital twin of this building and buildings around it. This right here is the example of the building we're sitting in, which is 60 Martin Place. And you can see we've got an entire digital replica of this building. It's got every single piece of equipment in the building. It's got the mechanical work inside the ceilings, everything you can imagine. And all the live data is all connected here into this digital platform. So as you come into the building, we've got our Bluetooth technology, which gives you access. And if you're riding into work and using our end of trip facilities, you can book a locker. This is architectural AI. Absolutely. This is very much back of the house, isn't it? It is, but you know, when we've got the back of the house in order, uh, it makes the occupant experience much more comfortable. Being able to identify that you know, there's an air conditioning issue. We use the live data that we're pulling from these systems and we can then use the digital twin to zero in on where that piece of equipment is. And if it's gonna inconvenience a person that might be sitting below that piece of equipment, we wanna know that before we have our contractors turn up on site. This is the digital twin of One Manhattan West. I see there are a couple of red lines. What, what does it mean? It means there's a piece of equipment that's in an alarm state that requires attention to make sure that it's working properly. What we're now looking at is the 3D view of level four. We're looking at the architecture, the structure, and we could turn on additional systems like the mechanical system, and we can access very technical data about the equipment so that you have all the information that you need at your fingertips to make an informed decision. We own just under 2,000 buildings globally. Wow. So the opportunity is enormous. And if we get the technology right here where we can decrease energy consumption by 25 or 30 percent, then we'll be able to take that and deploy it to our other buildings. I feel as though I'm in ASIO sort of surveillance center, but this is Willow Twin Command. Yes, this is the platform in, in real life being used to control a railway network in Utrecht. So from here, basically, you can control buildings effectively anywhere throughout the world. Any asset that has data in it, so mining sites, corporate campuses, hospitals, railway systems, roads, that's an application, an opportunity for Willow technology to be applied to those assets. Over the next five to 10 years, places like Sydney will increasingly become imbued with AI, architectural intelligence. And it's companies like Willow Twin, they're adding brains to beauty when it comes to our global cities. For more information on any of the innovations featured in this episode, go to australiabydesign.com.au.